Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're basically going to go and uh, do a react video to the, the top 100 rarest wow mounts of all time. So this is not your typical video of you know a guy just getting all the mounts where he thinks is rare. This guy has actually gone and got the numbers of like the, <laughs> the most rarest mounts. Basically, he's putting in order of like you know how many people have actually got the mounts, like from one to a hundred. So he's actually figured this out and put it onto a database and then put it into a show for you uh, but yeah this guy does a lot more views and a lot more subs than what he did for his first ever video on YouTube definitely uh, but yeah let's take a look guys and see what you think and yeah let's go. are you like me you get a rare mount that you've been farming for for years sometimes and you get it in your collections you finally see it you mount it for the first time and you just kind of wondered yourself huh was this really worth it is this really that rare how many people actually have this mount? How does this mount alter my feeling of self-worth? Well, That's I wanted true. to have a definitive answer to these questions. And I guess you can Google it if you really trust that Ashes of Alar is the third rarest mount? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't really find anything I was satisfied with, so I decided to do the math myself. So I used account data from Miles API and a bunch of other third-party sources to kind of conglomerate this massive data set. I then broke down that data set and organized it into the top 100 rarest mounts of all time. And to be honest with you, as an avid mount collector, even I was shocked. I made a custom program for this wow. that I then imported all the data into, organized it, did all the models, compiled it into this neat little program for you guys to hopefully visualize this in a fun and interactive way. But before we delve into this, let's establish some ground rules, all right? Okay, ground Number rules. one, this data is an estimate. Like I said, a lot of account data from Wiles API, a lot of data from other third-party sources conglomerated into this massive data set. But the problem with this is that the only people who actually know the exact numbers are the devs themselves. These aren't publicly available. You got to do a lot of fishing even to get to the level that I got to. Okay. And I called Ian himself. I texted him. I FaceTimed him even. He's got bigger fish to fry with Dragonflight. Can't really blame him. So just keep that in mind. When we get to the upper echelon of mounts, there's like a four to five player discrepancy on some of these. Jeez. So if you've got like this weird instinct that eh, this isn't really here, this should be on 22 instead of slot 21, whatever, that's probably why. It's just an estimate, but it's the closest I could get. But to my credit, it's a pretty thorough estimate. Number two, some stuff looks wonky. When okay. you extract the models from things like WoW Model Viewer or WoW Export, yeah, you get true. the model in its raw form. And you get the materials, you get the textures, but you don't get the shaders. So the shaders are the things that actually compute the math and make things look how they should. So there's certain things like details and feathers and trans it, it really anything to do with transparency looks a bit off. Just bear that okay. in mind. Well, I'm not a WoW well programmer. Okay, rubbish, okay. I don't have not, access to the shaders. Okay. So this is <laughs> as close as we can get it. Specifically... The gladiator mounts from Shadowlands and Vengeance, which is the mythic Sylvanas only mount, looks a bit off. But 95% of these look very similar to how they look in game. Okay. They're literally the exact same assets from the game's files. I just couldn't really balance the effects of all of them. Number three, rankings may change over time. This yeah, one's obviously. important. I crunched the numbers on October 10th, 2022. Okay, so, so if you go back and crunch the numbers, say a year or two later, the rankings are going to be a lot different especially on the acquired mounts. Over time, the amounts that you can acquire are going to be a lot less rare as people continue to farm them. Things that have very, very low drop chance, but may not necessarily rank as high on the list as you would expect, like the Heavenly Onyx uh, Cloud Serpent, for example. Dude, that thing's been out for like 10 years, all right? It's, it's going to drop as time goes on. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you've got any of these mounts, make sure to comment down below because it's kind of a big flex. A lot of these are really tough to get. Yeah, a lot boy. of them are unobtainable. So it's, it, it is a massive undertaking. Like some of these mounts literally have 100 or less people. All right, finally, enough rules. Let's get into it. The nitty gritty, the top 100 rarest WoW mounts. Starting off. I was just saying how much effort is actually putting to uh, getting all this data. Big, 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 big flex of him. Well done. At number 100, we've got the Nihilotha Allseer. This is the mythic only mount from Nazoth and Nihilotha, and it's been collected by 60,690 players. At number 99, we've got the Felblaze Infernal. This is a rare drop from Gul'dan and the Gul Nighthold, 
and it's been collected oh. by 57,950 players. Okay. Number 98, we've higher. got the Shimmerling Orlid. This is from Achieving the Glory of the Sepulchre Raider, and it's got 49,134 owners. Number 97, the Green Marsh Hopper. This one you just buy from a vendor for 333K. A little That's surprising to get off. spot 97. But uh, my best much. guess like is that a lot of people probably don't consider this amount that's worth 333k, which is oh, why it's really? so high. But despite that, 46,912 players own this mount. Number 96, the Conqueror's Scythe Maw. This is attained by doing the Conqueror of Azeroth achievement, which is just a bunch of PvP-related achievements in BFA. And it's got 44,972 44, wow. owners. At 95, we have the Bound Shadehound, which is the Moss Secret Mount. You go around, you collect a bunch of things, you solve a bunch of spooky secrets, you get this mount. 42,712 wow. people have cracked the case on the Bound Shadehound. 94, the Swift Rizashi Raptor, ah, this one of the OG Zulgarub drops, clocking 41, in on 41,316 players. Followed by none other than 93, the Swift Zulian Tiger, another OG Zulgarub drop. <sighs> it's got 40,188 players. Up next is the prestigious See, Midnight Courser, PvP which is obtained by reaching honor level 250. Wow, 40,104 40, people, people have achieved that. At 91 is the Rust Bolt Resistor. Another kind of surprising mount, considering its acquisition is as simple as buying this from a vendor. But hold for 524k, and you've got to be exalted with the Rust Bolt Resistance. Eesh. Does it really scream worth it to me? Which is probably it's at 91. <clears throat> Despite that, 39,456 people have jumped through those hoops. At 90, we have the Vicious this War Croaker, Croker, which is it a was, Shadowlands this this PvP, mount. PvP mount. 38,000. 876 people that just shows how much pvp well people just don't reach glad only 38,000 in the world reached glad last season wow have achieved this pvp based amount at 89 we have the argent charger this is earnable by paladins through the argent tournament you get oh, exalted argent tournament you cash in 100 champion seals which is the uh currency you get from doing the toc dailies you get this as your mount skin Thirty-six thousand six hundred ninety-two paladins have done this at 88 we have sylvanas the mythic only mount that drops from sylvanas in the sanctum of domination raid Thirty-six thousand six hundred forty-eight players bro. have this mount really low. Coming in at 87, it's Shackled Urzul. This is the mythic only mount from Argus. Drops an Antorus. Again, on mythic difficulty only. 35,782 people have this one. Damn, what even more? At 86, we've got the Amani, Amani Warbear, Warbear. The OG from Zulaman in Beast. Now, just to say, this is the OG version. This is the one where you get from Vanilla. Wow. Not the wild that we get from now from retail because it's a different color. We get a purple version. That's the, the red. This is the red version, which is the, which is the OG. This is why it's so rare. See, thirty-five thousand seven hundred and sixty-six players got this one. Up next to eighty-five, another marsh hopper, the blue marsh hopper. <sighs> Same acquisition as before. <sighs> from three hundred thirty k from a vendor in Nazmir, and you get this one. 34,698 players have purchased the a Blue Marsh Hopper. Number 84, we have the Pond Nettle. Now, how you get this mount is Fishing and Legion. I believe it's specifically Argus, and it can take anywhere between 1,000 casts to 5,000 casts from what I've read. But despite that, 34,272 people have fished up the Pond wow. Nettle. At 83, we've got the Bloodfane Widow. That just purchased from the Mad Merchant and Dalaran, the Legion Dalaran specifically, for a fat 2 million gold. 2 mil. 31,286 players have that level of disposable income. Really makes you feel kind of kind of lesser, huh? <laughs> yeah, 2 uh, mil. How many people want to throw down <laughs> for that? All right. At 82, we've got the Silent Glider. Nifty, you got any of these? No. <laughs> None. This is from the rare Soundless in Nazjatar. 
30,268 players 1%, have this 1.5% amount. of the population has got this. Followed by the Love number Rocket. 81, That's X45 really Heartbreaker. This is an extremely rare drop during the Love is in the Air event. A total of 27,742 players have this one. At number 80, we've got the Bonehoof Tarlus. This is from a rare drop in Maldrax. This is called Tahanta. It's got 26,372 owners. I think I have this on my e US account. I definitely think I have this. Quite an easy drop. It's right near the arena. You kill the boss and it drops it. It's quite a rare drop to get, but you can get it. If you do it, you can do it daily in Maldraxxus. At 79, it's yet another Marsh Hopper. The I'm surprised yellow one the yellow this time. Hoppers, Same easy, acquisition as before. Get. 330k will get you this mount from a vendor in Nazmir. At 78, we've got the Cobalt Primordial Direhorn. This one is a rare drop from Undansta in the Isle of Giants. 23,954 players really hard drop. have this mount. Wow. At 77, it is the X51 Nether Rocket Extreme. This is from the trading card game. 21,996 people have this one. At 76, this is the Soaring Spell Tome. This is acquired by doing all of the available challenges in the Mage Tower. 20,350 people have done this. At 75, <laughs> we've got the Wooly Right Rhino. Wow. wow, that is a tongue twister. <laughs> Wooly Right Rhino, Rhino, Rhino. Mate. <laughs> This is acquirable through the trading card game. That's me and feeling good about my armor. Yeah. 20,182 players. Wow, 1%. At 74, we've got the Plagued Proto Drake. This one was earned through achieving the Glory of the Ten Man Raider achievement, which was the first Glory of the Raider achievement implemented. It was a Nax on Ten Man, and 18,982 players have this one. Wow. At is, it, is it weird how we're on number 73, and it's still these are all 1% drop out? Drop percent uh, mounts, and so many less people have had them. 73 mounts. At 73, we've got the Magic Rooster from the trading card game. 18,648 people are riding this chicken. At 72, we've got the Brewfest Ram. Now, this one's a little bit special. The acquisition was pretty easy when it was live. All you had to do was earn access to the vendor that sold mounts during Brewfest. However, Blizzard decided to take that away in around 2007. So if you got the mount before then, great. Even if you've earned the right to purchase the mount before it was taken away, you can still do so. You just had to have earned the ability to buy mounts before 2007 Brewfest ended, and you'll net this one. Regardless, 17,818 people have this RAM. Wow, this is very Up low. Up next is the Swift Horde Wolf. This one was earned by doing an incredibly difficult achievement in Trial of the Crusader back in Waddle So you had a couple things to do uh, to get this one. First, you got to do the entire raid on Heroic on 10-man difficulty. Yep. With no wipes and no deaths. Okay. Ooh. And if you're Horde, this is your reward. The Swift Horde Wolf, 17,696 players have well. earned this one. Wow, 0.8%. Up next is the Solar Spirehawk. This one's a little bit wonky looking, again, because of some of the issues from Wild Exporter and such. But this is a rare from Spires of Iraq called Rumkahar. I'm sure you've been farming this one. 17,406 wow. players have beat you to this, though. Coming in at number 69 from the drop. hot seat is the Son of Galleon mount. Another world drop, this time from Galleon in the Valley of the Four Winds. Wow, only 30,612 30, wow. owners. Up next, 68, the There's Swift the Alliance version. Steed. This is the Alliance counterpart to the earlier uh, Swift Horde Wolf. So, same deal. You got to do TOC Heroic on 10 man with no wipes and no deaths. And if you're Alliance, this is your reward. 13,468 players have claimed this one. Coming in at 67 Heavenly is the Onyx Heavenly Cloud Onyx Cloud Serpent. And if you're an avid Malfarmer, you probably unfortunately are all too familiar with this yep. one. Uh, it's an extremely rare drop from the Shaw of Anger World Boss and the Kuhn Lies Summit. According to some of the Wowhead comments I've read, week. it could take anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 attempts. <laughs> some people have even created like 50, 60 characters to farm this thing on a weekly basis. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's rough. Anyway, 12,836 wow. players have suffered enough to earn this mount. <laughs> 66, we've got the big Blizzard Bear, the BlizzCon which was just a promotion. reward from attending BlizzCon in 2008. 12,256 wow, players Jeez. have cashed in on this one. 
Coming in at 65, we've got the Modla Drake from the trading card game. This is 11,172 players. At 64, we've got the Amani Dragonhawk, also from the trading card game. This is at 11,038 players. I just want to say, some of these trading card games, the ones that he's going to be doing now, you won't be able to get, and some of them cost a fortune to buy. So, uh, they are going to be very tough. And some of the ones we're going to do even further on are uh, unattainable, pretty much. 63, the Savage Raptor, a trading card game special as well. 10,910 players. At 62, a Blazing 62. Hippogriff for you. Another trading card game special. 10,710 people have collected this one. 61, Ghastly Charger. Guess where it's from? You guessed it. Trading card. Um, miniature, are you all allowed to raid a dungeon once a day before our amount of rewards, etc.? Um, on a dungeon, on normal, yes, you can raid it as much as you want. Uh, but if it's a if it's a uh, a raid, you can only do it once a week. Uh, is Hearthstone the TGC? No, it's the actual trading card game. The actual real life trading card game, Nifty. That's what it's on about. Card game. Ten thousand six hundred fifty-two players have got this one. At sixty. Fell Drake, none other than the trading card game. 10,604 players have got this one. At 59, big we've got bear. the big battle bear from the trading card game. game 10,458 players have cashed in on this card. At 58, Unchained. we've got the, the Unchained gladiator mount. Gladiator's Soul Eater, which is the Gladiator mount from... Shadowlands in Season 2. 10,348 10, players have this one. Wow. At number 57, we've got the Corrupted Hippogriff from the trading card game. This one's a little special to me. I'm going to flex a bit. I got this he one. He got it. GG, That's right. dude. However, there's 10,040, technically 10,039, other people like me. Uh, do the cards still exist to get some of these? I would not know the answer, mate. Maybe. Maybe if you look on eBay, there might be some. Maybe. That's how many other players have it. Oof. Not as rare as I hoped. At 56, we've got the Thundering, Thundering Cloud Cobalt Soul. Cloud Serpent. Wow, that's which is a of rare the drop from the lot, the Storm Lord, the world boss right in front of the Throne of Thunder raid. It's got 9,634 9, owners. Shit. 55, the Black Proto Drake. This one is earned through the 25 player Glory of the Raider achievement from Wrath of the Lich King. Really? Again, similar that's to the to Plagued get. Proto Drake, which was his 10 man counterpart. You just did a bunch of meta achievements and Nax Ramus, and you're in this one. It's got 8,148 owners. At 54, we've got the Corrupted Gladiators Proto Drake, the Gladiator Mount from BFA Season 4. Wow. It's got 7,880 8, owners. 7, Up next is the Sinful Gladiator Soul Eater, Shit. the Gladiator Reward from Season 1 in Shadowlands. We... It's got 7,788. Owners. I think we're going into the PvP mounts At 52, now. we've got the prestigious Bloodforged Forge, which is earned by getting honor level 500. Wow, that's, that's an impressive mount. 6,652 oh, 6, people, people in the world? have Holy that much me. honor. At 51, we've got the Dread Gladiator's Proto Drake, which is earned by achieving Gladiator in Season 1 <sighs> during BFA. 5,320 players wow. have this mount. At spot number 50, Halfway there, we've got the X-51 Nether Rocket from the trading card game. 5,150 people have this mount. At 49, we've got the Cosmic Gladiator Soul Eater, which is the Gladiator mount from Shadowlands Season 3. 3,980 people have this one. At spot yeah. number 48, we have the, the Riding Camel, riding camel <laughs> from the trading card game. 3,090 players have this one. Coming in at spot number 47 is the Swift Shore Strider from the trading card game. 3,072 players have this one. Coming in at spot number 46 is the first of the PvP Nether Drakes, the Vengeful Nether Drake. Is that from, this was a reward uh, to Gladiators in Season 3 of the Burning Crusade. Yeah. It's got 2,490 owners. At 44, we've got the Notorious Gladiators Proto Drake, which Rath. was earned by Gladiators during BFA no, Season BFA? 3. 1,828 owners for this one. 
Wow. At 43, we have the Sinister Gladiators for Drake, which is a reward for Gladiators during BFA Season 2. Wow, BFA 1, did not do well. 1,822 <laughs> Gladiators BVP. on this mount. At 42, we've got the Merciless Nether Drake. This was the reward for achieving Gladiator during Season 2 in the Burning Crusade. Okay, Crusade it's got 1,766 wow, nice owners. At 41, a fan favorite. Swift and honestly, at the 41st slot, pretty surprising. The Swift Spectral Tiger from the trading card game. 1,702 owners. At 40, we've got the Furious Gladiator's Frostworm, which is the reward for getting Gladiator in ah. Season 6 during Waddle K. Well, okay. 1,384 Gladiators oh, yeah. have this one. At number 39, we've got the Prideful Gladiator's Cloud Serpent which was a reward to gladiators during Pandaria? season 15 in Mists of Pandaria. It's got 1,324 wow. owners. At 38 is the Deadly Gladiator's Frostworm. You this can see where this is going, during can't season you? Five All in PvP Waddle K. <laughs> it's got 1,338 gladiator. gladiator owners. At 37, we have the Crusader's Black Warhorse. Now this is the 25-man version of the Swift Alliance Steed and Swift Horde Wolves from earlier. So, same rules apply, except on 25 player. You gotta do Heroic TOC on 25 player with no wipes and no deaths. And your reward is the Black War Horse here. 1,238 wow, 1, people have this one. Only 1,000 people got it. At 36, Holy. we've got the Swift Nether Drake, which is the reward to Gladiators during Season 1 in the Burning Crusade. 1,160 players have this one. At 35, we've got the Wrathful Gladiators Frostworm, which was a reward for Gladiators in Season 8 during Wrath of the Lich King, and it's got 1,110 owners. At 34, we've got the Primal Gladiators Fellblood Rodling, which was a reward to Gladiators during Season 1 of Warlords of Draenor. Yeah, yeah. It's got wow. 1,004 very owners. low. Coming in at spot number 33, we've got the Warmongering Gladiators oh, no, really Fellblood what did Gronling, they? which was a reward for achieving Gladiator during Warlords of Draenor Season 3. 912 people have wow, this no, mount. Really spot number now. 32, we've got the Spectral Tiger. Now, this may be kind of surprising, so I'm going to give you a little theory here. My best guess as to why this is 32 and why the Swift Spectral Tiger was before that is that the normal range of acquisition for the Spectral Tigers is it's kind of done. Like people stopped playing the trading card game, right? And so the main way to acquire these things now is just like buy a key yeah. on eBay or something, yeah. or you uh, spend an exuberant amount of gold. Now, if you're going to drop that kind of cash in game or IRL, why would you buy the Spectral Tiger when you could just get the Epic version? That's the best guess that I got. Therefore, you know, there's going to be less of these in circulation. Anyway. Exactly. And the Spectral Tiger goes for a lot of money in eBay. A lot of money. Spectral Tiger from the trading card game. 906 players own this one. At spot number 31, we have the Grievous Gladiators Cloud Serpent. Sick. Given to Gladiators from Season 14 during Mists of Pandaria. And it's got 904 players. At number 30, we've got the Vindictive Gladiators oh, Storm man, Dragon. This was given to Gladiators for Legion Season 1. It's got 902 owners. Players. At 29, Whoa. we've got the Vicious Gladiators Twilight Drake. This was given to Gladiators during Season 9 and Cataclysm. It's got 864 owners. At number 28, Damn. we've got the Demonic Gladiator Storm Dragon. Given to Gladiators in Legion Season 7. It's got 814 owners. At 27, we've got the Relentless Gladiators Frostworm. This was given to Gladiators in Season 7 during Wrath of the Lich King. 774 wow. players have this one. All these are so At low. At number 26, incredible. we've got the Crusader's White Warhorse. So it's the same as the black one. Yeah. You got to do 25-man Heroic DOC, no wipes, no deaths. You get this bad boy. 762 players have this 25-man legendary mount. At number 25, we've got the Dominant Gladiator Storm mount. Dragon. This was given to Gladiators <laughs> as a reward mount. for Ridiculous. Legion Season 6. It's got 752 owners. At 24, we've got the Cataclysmic Gladiators Twilight Drake. It's given as a reward to Gladiators during Season 11, and it's got 650 owners. Wow. At 23, 
the fearless OP gladiator mounts. storm dragon Jesus the gosh. legion gladiator mount during season two 622 players at number 22 the fierce gladiator storm dragon legion season five gladiator mount 586 players at spot number 21 it's the, the black, black Kiraji Kiraji war tank this was given to owners of the scarab lord or the black kiraji battle tank mount whenever they revamped all the mount stuff if you had it you are you automatically got this mount you cash in on it i think the reason really why it's not very similar to the in terms of ownership uh to the battle tank is just because there are less people around to cash in on this maybe some people have quit by then so hence the higher ranking on the list 552 players have this mount at spot number 20 we've got the ferocious gladiator storm dragon this was the reward of gladiators in legion of season four at 538 players at 19 we've got the wild gladiators felblood Ronling, which was given to gladiators in season two of warlords of draenor it's got 524 players at number 18 we've got the tyrannical gladiators PvP cloud serpent <laughs> given to gladiators <laughs> just proves how hard pvp is mists of pandaria it's got 466 owners. 0.2%. At 17, we've got the original Scarab Lord mount given to people who participated in the Bang the Gong quest and the opening of the gates in Ankaraj back in Classic. It's the Black Kiraji Battle Tank. It has 464 owners. At 16, we have the Cruel Gladiator Storm Dragon given to gladiators during Legion Season 3 at 462 players. At spot number 15, we've got the Malevolent Gladiator well, Cloud Serpent. Well, hoping PvP Mount is in the Mawong. During Season 12 in Mists of Pandaria, 452 Gladiators have claimed this mount. At number 14, we've got the Black Nightsaber, oh. which is a Legacy Mount. Legacy Mount, oh. 398 Jeez. owners for this one. Uh, At number 13, we've mount, got the Palomino, another these. Legacy Mount, except this one is for the humans. It's got 246 owners. At number 12, we've got the Orc Legacy Mount, the Arctic Wolf, at 244 <sighs> players. Oh, you can't get these anymore. At 11, another human Legacy Mount, the White Stallion this time, with 230 <laughs> owners. At number 10, the Ivory Raptor, the Troll Legacy Mount, at 118 <laughs> players. Number 9, Red Wolf. Another orc legacy mount clocking in at 116 players. Number eight, Ancient Frost Saber, a Night Elf legacy mount with 114 wow. players. 114 players. Number seven, the Teal Kodo, a Tauren legacy mount this time. 92 players. Our first sub 100 player owned mount on the list. At number six, the Green Kodo, another Torin Legacy, 72 players. Number five, the White Mechanistrider Mod B, a Gnome Legacy Mount, 70 players. At number four, it's the Icy Blue Mechanistrider Mod A, another Gnome Mount, 68, 68 players. players. Wow. Number three, the Frost, Frost Ram. A Dwarf Legacy Mount, 66 players. Number two, the Molid Red Raptor. That looks I nice. think this is the best looking troll mount. It's the Troll Legacy Mount, and it's 64 players. And finally, the number one, the rarest mount in all, in of, all WoW. of WoW is the Black fucking Ram. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The Black Ram is the, the rarest dwarf mount legacy in, in all mount the whole fucking world. Known as Ram. Black Ram. It's got a whopping 62, 62 players, players have got or that mount. 0.0031% of the population. Wow. That's it. We did it, boys. The top 100 rarest mounts in WoW. What a journey. Definitely didn't expect some of those to, to be on there. No, expected others to be on there that weren't right i mean there were some fan favorites on there like baron rivendare didn't see it invincible didn't see it yep didn't see i that. should have oh, known that um, the legacy mouse just absorbed see. the top 10 spots easily 
but some of those I, I really didn't even know about, like the Black Ram. I don't know. I knew there was an icy blue Mechanistrider mod, but I didn't know there was a white Mechanistrider mod. So, hey, the more you know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around this long. And again, if you've got anything on this list, let me know in the comments below. It certainly deserves the place. Until next time, see ya. Well, you know what to do, boys. You give him a like, you give him a sub, I would appreciate it. I've actually talked to him in person on his live, and he's, he's, he's going to be doing some more videos like this. He's going to be doing um, some maybe some pet ones with rare pets, rare uh, weapons or axes or whatever. Just rare things and stuff like that. But yeah, go give him a like, give him a sub. I would appreciate it. He's a really cool guy. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Make sure you like and sub to me to so more reaction videos to everybody else. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.